Here we are then back again with another video. We are going to kick off with a few sales today because today is Saturday and I've let loads of auctions run which all end today, Saturday evening. So I've got a few that needs to go out today. By the time today ends, I've had 50 go to auction. So I'm hoping at least 20, 25 of them sell. Hoping at least. I went out last night to play a little bit of poker. Played really, really well. I always set myself a target of 11 p.m. So whatever I've got at 11 p.m., win or lose, I get up and go. Just so happens that this time... I was one pound up. I had a pound. <laughs> I lost a few big pots towards the approach to the 11 o'clock. I could have had 240 quid, I think, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. Who cares? Pound up, pounds a pound. All right, let's start with a few of these, then, because we need to get them out the door. Otherwise, I'm going to be screwed come tonight or come tomorrow or come Monday, at least. I don't want that. So let's just kick things off. £45 for this Sony Sports Walkman. It's a really nice one. It's waterproof, it works. It sold really, really cheap in my opinion. £45 on bids. I had this listed for £199 for ages. Reduced it to £150 for ages. Had tons and tons of watches. Just nobody was biting. So I put it to auction. Car boot sale pickup this was, although some people seem to think otherwise, but we won't go into that one. Dicks. The Jack Daniels Whiskey CD holder, which actually sold on yesterday's live stream. So it originally came with a bottle of Jack Daniels in there. And you can store 12, 12 albums in there. They sent me a message saying they need to send it to a different address. I said, I can't do that, mate. I can't send it out. I need to cancel it, update your address and repurchase it. They seemed a little bit annoyed by it, but they did it. Not my fault, bro, is it? What to do? Oops. Keep track of your credentials, innit? This is a small little glass paperweight thing. If I can remember, I'll put a screenshot up. It's just imagine a small glass lighthouse shaped paperweight. It's by Alan Bay. So it's a nice little one to look out for. I think I paid £1.25, sold it for £8 free postage. Fortnite figure with his scythe. Or sieve, however you want to say it. This was 50 pence, I think. Sold for £11.69, £11.69. One of the Reading shirts, this is the blue West Coast one from 2002, 2003, 2003, 2004. On bids, sold for £31. That's cheap, that's still cheap. But again, it owes me a fiver, so who cares? We don't get attached like that. £17.99, because they used a coupon, was the PlayStation 3 controller that I picked up in one of the recent charity shop videos. She was walking past, putting some stuff out on the shelves, and I went, is that a controller? Oh, shake it. £17.99, all in. The PS3, I think I've shown you that. I haven't packed it yet. I'm going to wait. That can wait till Monday, because they're being hassly. This sold cheap as well, but I paid a pound, didn't I, or two pound. The Hay Puzzle, 1500 piece, still sealed, a little bit damaged on the seal, but still there. Sold for 50 pounds and 99 pence, all in on bids. So even though the price is good for these things when I pick them up and the solds are strong, if they're sitting around month, month, I think that's two months old now, I will eventually send it to auction and just let somebody else decide the price. Do you know what I'm saying? Just because one or two are sold before for 150, 200 pound, I'm not going to sit around and wait forever and ever and ever to achieve that. I'm just not. If it was a 10 grand item and it meant waiting around, I probably would. Mm, probably still send it to auction. But that, out the door. One or two pound into £50.99. Beautiful. And another pair of those Dr. Martins that we got for a fiver. These sold quite cheap as well, but I don't mind that at all on this sale because there is a note. The note says, I watch all of your videos. You're smashing it at the moment. Keep up the great work, my friend. Now, I can only go by your eBay name. So thank you very much, Robert. Your purchase is greatly appreciated. You've got a nice little bargain. I've made some good money, and they're going to be on their way to you shortly as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, mate. Link to my eBay store is in the description down below. I need to update my Vinted as well, to be fair. My Vinted's 2002 RL. And that's all the sales. So not a massive amount, like 234 in total. I have sold the Rangers shirt. It went for a ridiculously low price, personally, of £175. I'm hoping they don't pay, to be honest. But even if they do pay £3 into £175 pre-fees, we take that, don't we? We take that. Let's see how many auctions we've got finishing tonight. All formats, or 51. I'm obviously, they're not all going to get bids. I want 50% to get bids. I want 25. How many have we got so far? So listings with bids, 13. 
for a grand total of 13 pound 13 pence because they did them all at 99p starts because it's just stuff that's on my store renewing 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 taking shop subscriptions taking up time taking up traffic taking up space that's just not shifting and it was all like 10 pound and under stuff so if it's worth more than 10 pound but it just still wasn't shifting so I've just put everything to auction and it all ends tonight. Don't know when this video is going to come out. You might not get to see it. Yeah, looking forward to just clearing it off. Clearing it, clearing it off. And that's all the sales we have today. I was going to go to a car boot sale, but I didn't get back till like midnight last night. And I realised I hadn't had my GoPro charge. I don't massively need to go on a Saturday, especially when it's been drizzle, drizzle. I'm hoping the weather is going to be nice tomorrow, though, because I really want to hit a Sunday car boot sale. Two, ideally three if I can. Do one as it just opens. I'll do one after it's been open for an hour or so, and then I'll do one that's been open for around about 45 minutes to an hour by the time I get to it. That'll be pretty decent. My plan today is to try and get a lot of my drafts actually up on like this chair. Need, I need to get a new chair. I'm sick of it. It just spins on its own. My plan today is to get a lot of my drafts that are in my folder in my laptop actually up onto eBay, at least drafted, at least. I think I've got a parcel about to arrive. But before I do that, I want to give another channel shout out. Today's spotlight is going to Hanley and Sam. Their channel is the Business and Banter Podcast. You might remember I spoke about in a previous video or at least a previous live. Sorry, I'm still waiting for that parcel to arrive. You might remember that I spoke about in a recent video or a recent live about Hanley and how she is one of those top, top power sellers. She sells mainly car parts, hence her name, She Sells Car Parts. And of course, you've got Sam, both absolutely smashing it. And they've decided to combine forces and create a podcast where it's about business and there's a bit of banter as well. Some of the stuff you can learn on there is honestly invaluable. Is that the right word? It's valuable. I never know how to use that word correctly. But Hanley is, and I do believe Sam as well, they're both involved in tech and sports world. Tech does this monthly thing. I'm not trying to promote the business before anybody gets some money. I don't use it myself. But they do this thing where they've got monthly subscriptions and they get access to everybody you all get thrown in this pool and everyone's smashing it in their own divisions in their own rights and Hanley is one of the power in there power powers powers I'm so shit at this how am I a youtuber so she's got lots and lots of knowledge and she doesn't just talk about silly little things like I do like here's a Walkman stereo that's gonna sell because it's Sony and it's old and it's a Walkman Hanley knows her stuff and so does Sam. They both do. I'm, I feel like I'm leaving Sam out a little bit here. Sorry. <laughs> but I know more about Handley than I do about you, Sam. But I do know that you are a Dan Under. Terrible. Instagram for Sam is Hammock Hustler. Both deserve the light they get. Obviously, I met Handley first. I say met just through Instagram, digital, the way this circle is, the way this community is. Apart from the occasional meetup, which I don't go to. I will one day though, I'm just going to turn up. I'm waffling, but my point is they, they, they've they created this fantastic podcast and you can get lots and lots of valuable information from it and a bit of banter as well. So what's not to love? So I invite you to go and check out Hanley and Sam's The Business and Banter podcast. Link will be... Oh, no, I never put links in, I always forget. The details are on screen, so please do go and type that into your YouTube machine and go and check them out. Good luck, guys. I got a bit carried away. I started doing my work and then I had an idea to make like a tips and how to video. I'm going to be doing a few of these. I look forward to dropping it tomorrow or the next day to see how well it's received. I have also said this in the video, but if you have anything regarding eBay that you want to see some tips some tricks some ideas on or how to's or things you're a little bit confused about and you want somebody to dumb it down for you because that's how I learn. Let me know and I'll make a quick video detailing whatever it is that you want to know. Drop your suggestions down in the comments. Nothing's too stupid and nothing things too big if i don't get to it immediately i'll get to it at some point massively appreciate you watching as always and i'll see you on the next video take care Ta -ra.